Big Owens and Birkenstock collection number two. Um, I'm sure they're familiar. I think it was a couple of seasons ago. Rick Owens collaborated with Birkenstock. Everyone was a bit shocked. Oh my God, how are they doing this? But then when we saw the execution of the first sort of Birkenstock slides, they were completely awesome. I'm assuming it was pony hair or horse hair on the slides for the most part. Fairly basic model. Both of the models were straps or that the strap. And some of them had a kind of half mule shaped shoe. And they make them not sure what that model is called from the Birkenstocks. But um, done in a very Rick Owens kind of way, taking a basic mod, well, then kind of embedding his own DNA into the shoe, which I think he's done a really good job of i think outside of some of the normal designer shoes that we see at the moment i think there is not a lot of love or appreciation given to what rick owens done when he did a collaboration with adas back in the day that first sort of collection i think that was a kind of epitome of like being able to take a take the kind of technologies available at a kind of adidas and kind of imbue your own dna into it without kind of losing your without losing the essence of what you're kind of doing and i think he did a perfect way of doing it and obviously now they're kind of building on that and releasing some sort of new more birkenstocks um, in their collection and they look incredible to be honest because we've got here we've got you know your regular burger socks models that they've kind of done previously and you've also got the addition of uh, another sort of trainer that they're kind of working on with burger so which i'm sure they haven't done previously i'm not really familiar with it them making trainers i'm not sure if they're still they've got some newer stuff but it looks fucking cool man so you've got you've got here the collection that you've got there you've got the, these two strap models i'm not is it called a montana I'm not just sure what that shoe is called no, arizona uh rotterdam sandals right and they've got here a Ruta, Ruta Hiker boot, which I'm, I'm assuming that's a new model that Rick Owens are putting together. So you've got these sandals that they're making now at the moment, uh, Rick Owens and Birkenstock, right here on the screen, you guys can see them. And then you've got the addition here of this amazing sort of like um, geo basket uh, take on a Birkenstock shoe, which looks fucking cool. And obviously it would be, you know, half the price of what you'd pay for a uh, kind of, you know, um, mainline geo basket or dark shadow geo basket from brick owens which is going to be super interesting to see how they do in the stores or how they release them because i think for the most part they weren't available which is annoying some of these things it happened a lot when i was on dr martin's too some of the cooler collaborations with dr martin's um that involved uh japanese based brands weren't available in store you only had, you had to purchase them um online or, or through other kind of you know select stores around the world um so that that was quite annoying you could actually buy them in store so i'm not sure if they're going to be available in store again or I didn't see these actually on the shoe. So they've changed the strap. So they've got a, a kind of a, a clip on strap similar to stuff that you'd find on messenger bags and stuff and a Velcro strap at the front, I'm assuming, for the most part. So they have updated them for the most part, not just the materials, they've updated the clasping of how they put on. I quite like this sort of like crushed metallic look they've got on these shoes there. Um and again the sandals with the kind of two-tone straps. I really like the look of those. Um, continue here and then I think you've got the retro hiker boots so that's it that's the kind of trainer boot that they're making with Berkson which looks amazing isn't it right so it's a kind of you know a budget geo basket for the most part still got the same geo basket um, tongue and no laces which looks really cool kind of lending itself to what Rick Owens wears himself when he comes out and where he's usually wearing these geo basket shoes with no laces I had a pair of them myself but they were a bit too small to sell them and for the most part you can wear them without laces because you know the, the, the tongue is elasticated along the sides and they're quite tight on the foot especially if you get them in your size. Um, so interesting to see how these do in stores. Uh, again, I'd, I'd love it if um, Rick Owens and Birkenstock were able to kind of have a, a temporary space that they could maybe sell some of these shoes in, especially when it comes to London or major metropolitan uh, cities for the most part, because it's annoying where you can't usually get hold of stuff that you want because it's only available in the sex store for a sex period of time. It'd be so to just like walk into a Birkenstock store in central and just be able to purchase the shoe right without having to kind of go through all these sort of like jumping of the hoops without sort of malarkey which is probably you know part of the fun i guess for some people but for me i'm, I'm just too old for that shit man i want to buy my stuff i have disposable income i don't mind saving up to purchase something but i just don't want to have to run through the ringer of doing this or doing that you know i mentioned before how much i hate having to uh, put my name down on list and having to retweet stuff on sneaker sales so even more so for that but it looks like an amazing collection i think they've done a really good job um i love what they're doing with the birkenstock shoe kind of elevating in a very you know a staple sandal and kind of giving it um his own twist and again i'm just really interested to see how this retro hiker shoe does this this kind of trainer i think this might be something that might be a little bit of a, a sleeper uh, pick this year for those people that want to wear something a little bit different than what you generally see on drop date and shit um this is probably a little bit more interesting stuff to wear it's just how it does what the retail price of it is going to be um 
which prices range between 287 euros to 522 euros so i'm assuming the, the the retro hiker will be about that which is no not that not not that much cheaper than the geo basket i think usually geo basket go for about 700 quid so about 200 quid 200 quid less than that which i know i'm saying it's not that much but i'm, I'm you know if you want to go for the mainline thing or the real thing quote unquote you can get it for about 700 quid or maybe even less if you buy it second hand from grailed and stuff you can probably pick one up cheap but i'm interested to see how it does going forward